Hi, it's John Clements. I'm sort of hiding out. I feel like, a little bit like if you're old enough to remember Artie Johnson from Laugh-In. See how old I am. Uh, we used to have a thing where he'd pop out from behind a leaf and say, very interesting. But this is a very, very interesting tree. And so many times people just walk right by this without noticing it in detail. And this is a fig tree. It is Ficus roxburghii. It comes from India. And it does look very similar to a, maybe the figs that you're familiar with, but it is different in this sense. There are a whole group of figs in the old world that are called sycamorous. They're in the family sycamorous of figs. And though it's a ficus, it's not like the figs that you're gonna have in your backyard, which bear figs on new growths all the time. As you look at this one, it's crazy looking. This looks like it has a bad case of smallpox. All up and down the trunk and the branches, this will be literally covered with figs. And these old world figs, these that are in the family Sycamorus, require a wasp to make the figs edible and to really make pollination happen. Our figs don't need pollination, but these would. And so you can see this would be an edible fig if this were in the old world and we had the wasp. We don't have the wasp here. And so they stay hard. It looks like a big donut. But in Nepal, they grow this just as fodder. So they grow it and they hack it down and they use the greens to feed the animals. And many part, uh, portions of the world, people will eat these. And uh, in Vietnam, they actually make these and put them in fish sauce, which is interesting. I, I wouldn't have considered, but it's maybe like our figs. I love to have my figs with balsamic vinegar and goat cheese. Oh my gosh. So they have theirs with fish sauce. So when you're at the garden, take a look at this really crazy looking plant and enjoy these clusters of great figs. And it will do really well in gardens in San Diego. It'll even take some freezing temperatures. I've seen this growing in Augusta, Georgia on the golf course. So, you know, as long as it uh, doesn't completely freeze solid, it will grow really well for you. And this is uh, again on the edge of the bamboo garden and right across from our fruit garden. So if you wanna see this plant in person.